this is Chloe from Watershare for more here to empower your inner video creator. Today, we are going to learn all about the new optimized screen recording in Filmora 13. Take it away! As you can see, I've made a bunch of screen recording tutorials in the past and I want to share how I do it now in Filmora 13. So prepare your phones, your computers, and your laptops for us to get started. For you to be able to make a smooth and informative tutorial, you will need a screen recorder. But you don't have to find any other software because Filmora 13 has got your back. To begin, open your Filmora 13 software. And as you can see, there is a new update for the screen recording. Introducing the optimized screen recorder, your screen recording, your vision. Click the screen recording beside instant mode. It will show a pop-out settings and it will bring you to the editing timeline of Filmora. Now, to ensure a clear and smooth tutorial, you must set first your screen recorder into full screen so that your viewers can see everything that you do in your computer. Another important thing to consider in making a screen recording tutorial aside from video source is your audio. System audio should also be recorded in your tutorials for a complete experience for your viewers. Simply turn on the sound button right here, so the audio of your computer will also be recorded. Next is your microphone, which is very crucial in making your tutorials. To ensure that your viewers can follow every step that you will give, you should have an input source of audio for your voiceover, and that will be your microphone. You can pick whatever microphone you want to use or whichever is available to you, but if you don't have a good microphone, Filmora's AI Audio Denoise utilizes multiple algorithms to remove background noise and improve audio quality. You may also tweak some settings here such as changing the save files directory, adjusting the frame rate of the screen recording, changing the quality, setting a timer, showing mouse clicks in recording which is helpful in drawing attention of the viewers, changing the shortcut keys, and lastly, Turning on the camera while screen recording, which is the best feature here in Filmora 13's optimized screen recorder. You just need to drag and drop your screen recording and it will automatically separate into three tracks, which has the audio track, your PC screen recording footage, and of course, the footage from your webcam. This feature is very useful as you can record your main screen and your reaction separately at the same time. And of course, you can edit them individually since they're already separate separated into three. Sometimes you just don't need your reaction and you just want to focus or emphasize what is being recorded on the screen or you just want to emphasize your webcam footage to show your whole reaction. A quick tip in making this kind of tutorial, the best is to dry run before you hit record on your screen. It will make your tutorial video more organized, especially if you have a script and a guide in making your video. The next part of this video, editing. If you're done recording your screen, you can hit F9 or whatever hotkey you assigned for the stop recording. And it will be automatically saved in Filmora's media files and you can now process it in your editing timeline. I must recommend a new feature for you which is offered by Filmora 13. Introducing AI text-based editing, a transformative leap in video editing technology. Instantly transcribe your videos into editable text, enabling you to modify your video just like a document. You can delete the footage by deleting the text. And this is also good for B-roll editing. For sure, it will make your editing more efficient. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos on the channel. Keep creating and see you next time!